Thank you so much for taking this time to speak with Hollywood Unlocked. And from the looks of your shirt, we're going to be talking about your app, I Follow. Yes. How you doing? Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about how you got started into, you know, the digital world and the technology world of creating an app. Um, Of creating it, uh, it was an idea that I uh, that I came up with like a few years ago. I just used to uh, take things that I didn't like in certain social media apps that was out at the time um, and started like piecing together like uh, things that I wanted to see in a social media app to uh, eventually, you know, what I mean, come to develop iFollow. Um, so it, de- it derived from me not uh, liking things in other social media apps. So for those who don't know, give us a little bit of background about what iFollow is and what your goal for people who download the app would be. Uh, iFollow is a video sharing, a picture sharing app. Uh, the goal of it is to uh, basically give normal people, you know, regular people uh, um, opportunity to be recognized in every to every user that's on the app. Uh, so basically, our motto is like, if you post more, see more. So the more you post uh, public stories and things like that, like we expose you to every user on the app, on every user on our app. Um, you know, like we don't hold you to certain algorithms that a lot of other social media use. You know, so you can have ten followers. You know, what I mean, I mean, ten, ten, ten followers, ten trenders, and uh, post a public story, and you'll be exposed to the thousand of users that's on the app still. Now, when you say that you created this app because you saw that there were things that you didn't like on other platforms, what were some of those things that were were really eye-catching for you that you wanted to try and fix? Um, pri- a lot of it was like privacy. Like I didn't like that. Uh, like the social media apps controlled a lot of our privacies that we should control. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like we should have control over who, uh, you know, what I mean, like who sees what. You know what I mean? Like we have uh, set set on our profiles and things like that. So that was one of the biggest things was the privacy part. And then a lot of these social media apps, like, you know, they, they sell our personal information just with our app. We just, you know, trying to gear away from that, give people more uh, opportunity. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you can choose whether you want your information sold or not. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Things like that. You, know, you can choose who sees, uh, who views your profile or you can choose who, who uh, sees how many, likes and or you know i mean views you have on your stories and things like that so yeah and now we know that with apps like let's say instagram where there's these people who are now considered influencers or instagram influencers so or social media influencers for various uh social media platforms they're making a, a profit off of what they're posting on those apps now for i follow do you plan on having that same type of um, I wouldn't say necessarily partnership, but that same type of community for people to now be able to get monetized from your app. Yes. Um, and as far as I know, um, like one of the things we do, we're doing with our app is uh, a lot of these influencers on us, other social media apps, like they don't get paid from Facebook for being an influencer on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they get paid from the brands itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to change is uh, we're going to actually pay influencers ourselves as well. And, you know, I mean, on top of whatever they make from brands. So influencers will be able to monetize and get a paycheck from iFollow Incorporated as well as, you know, I mean, whatever brands they're dealing with as well. And what what have you been doing to really pump up the volume of users coming over to the app? Um, just. Uh, we just uh, landed a contract with a with our uh, PR team, um, and then we we've been using influencers on other social media apps to help uh, you know what I mean get the word out there uh, and just marketing you know what I mean a lot of heavy marketing. We have uh, commercials coming up in a, in the future within the next few weeks, uh, like television commercials, uh, podcasts, interviews, um, you know Hollywood unlocked interviews <laughs> uh, and things like that, just to get raise the awareness of the brand. Yeah. And now outside of the app and the things that you didn't like on the platforms, what's your background um, from what you started before you, you know, ventured into creating an app? So where where did you start from? I was in the military uh, back uh, some days ago. And uh, after the military, like I just when I got out of the military, I was doing um, more uh, entrepreneur work, like almost everything I did was entrepreneur uh, work. Um, so I 
did, you know what I mean? Like I've owned like construction companies, like I've tried mm-hmm. nightclubs. Um, I've did, you know what I mean? Car dealerships and things like that. And even transportation companies like truck companies. And then, uh, like I said, a few years ago, uh, when I started doing this, I'm like, you know what I mean? Like I wanted to be able to give people a place where, uh, you know what I mean? Like they can, everyone can feel like they're, they're somebody, you know, like mm-hmm. it's, we've seen too much where a lot of people, you know what I mean? Get social media bullied because of the amount of followers they have or because the amount of likes they get and things like that. So we just, that was reasons why we put a lot of the extra privacies in to try and uh, cipher through, you know what I mean? Like things like that. So, and we don't use like regular terminology. Like we don't call out our, our users uh, followers or, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like any of that, like we call our, our users are called trenders, you know what I mean? Like, because we want to put everyone in a mindset of being a trendsetter, you know, mm-hmm. like everyone can be a trendsetter. It's just about how you go about doing it. Right. You know? Right. And I see that you do have, you know, Apple, the app store where most apps start off first. Are you already on um, like uh, the Google play store or is it specifically for Apple right now? Yes. We actually launched on both. We're launched on app store and we're launched on the Google play store. Um, it is live right now. Uh, we have over uh, 2,500 users. And, you know, I mean, as of the, for the last three weeks, we've been out right now. So. Nice. And I know you're talking a little bit about you moving from Illinois to um, California. So is that a part of continuing to grow your business? Yes. Um, I feel like out there is uh, being in, being in California is more of, like I'm surrounded by more things that I need for my business, you know what I mean? And to help my business mm-hmm. grow. Um, so yes, it's, it's a, a big part of uh, me moving out there is because of the app. Nice. And then what plans do you have in ex- continuing to expand the app when you come out here? Um, just a lot of, a lot of ground, you know what I mean? On the ground promo. Um, I know a lot of things out there are closed and whatnot, you know what I mean? But we still, uh, we have a lot of promo material, like, you know what I mean? T-shirts, masks, you know what I mean? Uh, keychains, uh, hand sanitizers, you know what I mean? Like things like that to try and that we can give out to people, you know what I mean? To try and help, you know what I mean? To keep people safe during this time at the same mm-hmm. time, but they're able to get on the app and, you know what I mean? Like enjoy, uh, you know what I mean? Some nice, fresh, new social media, you know what I mean? And new people, you know? Yes. And what went into building your team? I know when it's apps like this that really have a special place to the heart, not just, you know, because I want to be uh, an app developer. But like you said, there's it, the reason that you created it is because you saw some things that you wanted to change. You wanted to stop the, the, the use of social media bullying. So what does it what do you look for when you're building your team or when you grab your team and said, OK, this is what I want to do? I look for people who have the like the same type of vision that I have. Um, and, you know, that that's that's mainly it. Like I, I ask, you know what I mean? Like, what what is it you want in social media app? You know what I mean? I get their inputs. And if 90% of what they want align with what I want, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like we, we put out, we put our heads together and then, you know, that's how we were able to develop the team. Right. And now I know and when reading a little bit about the app, there were some things like you'd be able, users would be able to, um, limit the amount of words that are in the captions and a lot of the different aspects to kind of personalize it to their liking. So can you talk a little bit about what users will be able to customize to make it feel a little bit more safer for them to use the platform? Okay, so a few things, like I said, that we did privacy-wise was, um, like I know other social media apps, like you can cut comments off, you know what I mean, and cut comments on if you want to. Mm -hmm. Um, But on ours, uh, we limit um, like for high profile accounts, like we allow like Hollywood unlocked accounts, like we allow you all to have uh, public comments and things like that, because that's what your brand is. Right. But for just like normal people like myself to keep the scrutiny out of people comments, we limit all comments to being, it's not public. All comments are sent directly to the user who, in which, you know I mean? Who, whoever posts something. Um, so that was, that was one of the things. So we have, it's called private comments. So mm-hmm. private feedback. You know, so we don't allow uh, public feedback because of things like that. Um, number two is uh, we allow users to, uh, like I said, everyone on this app are called trenders. So mm-hmm. if you don't want to have your trenders and trendies list on, you know what I mean? Like you could turn it off so no one sees, you know what I mean? Like how many trenders you have or how many people you're trending 
or, uh, you know, I mean, can even look through your list to even see, you know, I mean, like your trenders or any of that. Um, and that was done, like I said, because I've seen a situation where a friend has uh, 20,000 uh, followers on Instagram mm-hmm. and then another friend had 1500 followers and they used to go, you know, what I mean, like that person with 20,000 used to, uh, you know, what I mean, like literally like belittle the person with 1500 followers and made it feel like they weren't, you know, what I mean, like they were low on the totem pole and things like that. So mm-hmm. With that feature, it's like you don't have to worry about it now because that right. twenty thousand follow twenty thousand user followers don't have to know how many I have. I can tell them I have a hundred thousand for all they know. You mm-hmm. know. And same thing with turning on the the views, like you know your your uh, trend views. Like you could turn them off, so that person can't even see how many trend views you get on it. You know. In the app as well, we do have a time select option where uh, we allow users to select how long they they want their post to last, whether it's a page post or a story per post. Um, so we give options for um, 24 hours to 72 hours. And uh, for certain certain type of accounts, we let them, um, we allow them to be able to choose indefinitely as well. Nice. So it's no more, did you see this in 24 hours? Go look, hurry up. Because the user will have free <laughs> reign to do whatever they want with the time that they have for the app. So if they don't want you to see it after 72 hours, they gave you some cushion. So after 72 yeah. hours, if it's not indefinite, <laughs> you're out of luck <laughs> yeah so that, that that's a cool feature that a lot of people do like so now within the next let's say five years because i know you know 2020 doesn't count for anything right now <laughs> 2020 <laughs> yeah. is canceled but after december 30 31st no more 2020 but what do you see where do you see your app going within let's say the next four to five years uh within the next four to five years um i'm what we're building right now, we're trying to build it where, you know I mean? Like we become uh, a staple in the social media community where we're a go-to social media app. Um, mm-hmm. I, you know, and just try to stay in, innovative. Um, you know what I mean? Like given with what's going on with like the TikTok situation right now, like we're actually evolving our app, you know what I mean? And then the next four weeks, five weeks, we're releasing, you know I mean? An update where it's gonna have uh, features in there like that as well. Um, but it, it would differentiate, you know what I mean, because of, you know what I mean, how long we allow a person to do some type of videos for. Uh, I don't want to say too much because, you know what I mean, somebody might want to, hey, let us try that. You right, know? So right, right. We will, we will allow people uh, that opportunity and we will give them an opportunity to actually make like short, you know what I mean, like movie films and things like that within the app as well with that TikTok, mm. with that feature that TikTok has. Nice. And now do you see your company partnering with any other social media platforms to kind of do some type of merger? I know that, you know, like Facebook and Instagram have merged. Do you see yourself doing anything like that? Um, not mergers, but uh, I am in talks with trying to uh, like partner with Snapchat where um, we would allow um, for their users, uh, for our users to be able to um, for their Snapchat story to be viewed within our in our app as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, we're, we're, we're discussing that and seeing if it's something that, you know, at this point that we really want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but other, other than that, just, uh, just with the, with the Apple music, um, you know I mean? Integrate Apple music within the app, within our application. That's it. So how can those people who want to be, you know, the next influencers, the next social media influencers come on to iFollow to really boost up their brand and to boost up what they want to promote? Uh, like we are looking for, uh, you know, I mean, partnering with with other in- with social media influencers that you know, have a following on other social media platforms. Uh, we are doing partnerships, um, you know, I mean, like good partnerships. We have a couple of them already. Um, you know, so if the, if you are interested in it, uh, you can email us at info at I follow app dot com. That's info. I N F O at I follow app dot com. Um, and you can email us and we'll reach back out to you within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, but we are actively looking for um, partnerships with other influencers at the moment. Nice. Well, it sounds like it's going to be an app that many people should use, especially those who do, you know, experience cyberbullying based off of the amount of followers that they have or the type of content that they post. So I, I think it sounds like a great app. And congratulations on, you know, building something that can change the culture of social media. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. No problem at all. So all users, if you have a smartphone, if you have an Android, if you have an iPhone, go out and download iFollow. Get your users. Tell your friends. Tell your family. 
all of that and you will be all good to go. So thank you again so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. I appreciate it. And like she said, go download the app. I follow on the App Store and the Google Play Store, okay? Appreciate it.